that you will be hearing of a big Congress Neta putting down his papers. But what should worry the Congress now is where really is the Congress party headed? That's a question that's going to be asked of the Congress party as N. Kiran Kumar now has put in his papers and the buzz is that he possibly could be headed to the BJP. Uh, we'll try and connect with Aniri in just a bit to get us more insight into that big story and whether we've heard absolutely anything from N. Kiran Kumar. Now, you know, Aniri, this is a huge story. It's a huge setback for the Congress party, considering that he's a four-time MLA and also a strongman from the Rayal Seema region. Now, this essentially could help the BJP in case you could have uh, Kiran Kumar Reddy joining the BJP. But having said that, Aniri, how huge a setback this is, firstly, for the Congress. So that's right, Deepti. We have been seeing how this has uh, come up just ahead of the elections. Not, not only our uh, elections in Telangana, but also the elections in Andhra Pradesh, because we are seeing that in 2024 there will be state assembly elections in Andhra Pradesh. And N. Kumar, uh, N. Kiran Kumar Reddy is the former chief minister of the United Andhra Pradesh. He's the last chief minister of United Andhra Pradesh, and that is why this turns out to be very important for uh, uh, for the Congress Party because he has been one of the big leaders in the southern states and also at the same time the resignation of N. Kiran Kumar Reddy comes at the time when we are seeing that how Congress party has been facing a lot of uh, difficulties among its leaders and now this uh, uh, this uh, resignation of Kiran Kumar Reddy who is the former chief minister of United Andhra Pradesh comes at the time when we are seeing that there will be elections and also sources have uh, uh we what we are learning through our sources is that he might be soon joining the bharti ajanta party um and also he has held few meetings as, uh, with the top leaders of the bjp uh, is what we are being told but also at the same time when we talk about the resignation letter of uh, Kiran Kumar Reddy. He is the last PM of United Andhra Pradesh and he also holds a very strong hold in the Rayal Seema region and many other parts of Andhra Pradesh. And that is why we are seeing that this resignation of Kiran Kumar Reddy comes uh, as a big jolt to the Congress party. And also at the same time, not to forget, uh, uh, Deepti, we have been seeing how the Congress party has been trying to uh, revive itself let it be to Bharat Joro Yatra or its leaders in the state of Telangana and Andhra Pradesh doing um se Haat Joro Yatra and various other uh, campaigning in the states. But then the resignation of late uh, Chief Minister of United Andhra Pradesh, Kiran Kumar Reddy, where he has uh, written a letter to Sonia Gandhi uh, and uh, submitted his resignation yes. uh, to Congress party. And Aniri, I recall, some time back, he was in the national capital. He actually met with Sonia Gandhi. In spite of that, if the strongman from the Congress had to resign, uh, it's, again, a huge commentary on the status of the Congress party itself. Uh, for the moment, thank you so much for helping us understand that big story. It's time for us also to head into a quick break. And when we come